Welcome to Kari's Conscious Living. Are you ready to meditate with Kari? Make sure that you're laying down and you're comfortable and relaxed and that everything is just right so that you can be still and quiet and listen to a story. Did you know that witches weren't just women or girls? Did you know that witches could also be male? They could be boys? Did you know that? Some people think that a male witch is called a wizard or a warlock. But Some males like to be called witches. Devon was a witch. He was a witch because he knew he was a witch. When we talk about witches, we always think of hee 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 hee, like creepy old women with warts on their nose, something that's predicted as scary around Halloween. But witches can be good witches just like Glenda the Good Witch in Wizard of Oz. Devon was a good witch. Devon was a witch because he had all of these special abilities. From being very, very young, Devon knew exactly how to make potions and spells without even realizing it. He loved to garden And in his garden, he had all different herbs, everything that you could think of growing. There was cilantro, basil, rosemary, thyme. And all of the different herbs, he would mix and make tinctures. Tinctures are things that you drink, like a potion. A tincture is something that can help you. Something that can sometimes even heal your body. And Devon had a magical way of putting certain herbs together, sometimes mixed with certain spice, to help with tummy aches and headaches and skin rashes and all of those things that can be healed if you have a knack and a knowing of what to mix together. And all of those things came from the earth. And from being very, very small, Devon loved to grow his herbs. And without even knowing when he was tiny, he would cut different pieces off different herbs and mix them in a little jar and he would pour them on the plants as if the plants needed to be healed. The trees in his garden would grow happy as if to say, Thank you, Devon. How did you know that I needed that spice? Or that herb. And then as he got older, he would make tinctures for his family. Special teas that they could drink to make them feel better. Or to help them sleep and relax. Devon just had it. He just knew. He also had a way where he would have dreams. And his dreams would often come true. So Devon would dream and then see things happening in a dream and not too long in the future his dream would come into a reality like he was having a premonition. A premonition is when you have a vision of something in your mind before it even happens. That's called a premonition. Devon had been having premonitions since he was very, very small. Now, Devon's used to the fact that he dreams and his dreams can come true sometimes. He doesn't even question it anymore. In fact, Devon looks at it as if other witches or friends or guides or angels are actually talking to him in his dreams and telling him about the future. He doesn't get scared or anything like that. He just sees it as a gift. 
like he's having a conversation with an angel and the angel is telling him all about what could possibly happen in the future. Devon has a dream journal and he writes down all of his dreams, which is a very good idea. Every time you have a dream, when you wake up, make a note of it in a book and call that book your dream journal. That way, it will help you remember all of your different dreams. Sometimes we have nightmares and scary dreams have certain messages in them. But the more that you journal and you write them down, the more you start to understand the language of the gods, the language of the angels, the witches, the fairies, all talking to you while you sleep. Devon can also read tea leaves. If you have a cup of tea and it's loose tea and when you finish your tea you can swirl the leaves around, close your eyes and take a nice big deep breath. <sighs> Ask for a message. When you turn the cup back the right way around the leaves sometimes have different patterns and if you stare into the pattern of the leaves it can tell you a message, just like your dreams. Just by looking at the images. And the more and more Devon practiced this, the better and better he got, to the point where, once again, he never questioned the messages that he got when he was tea leaf reading. He just read the leaves and gave people their messages normally family and friends. But tea leaf reading is a very good way to find out what could possibly happen in your future. And Devon was really good at it. Sometimes Devon would have people that he would meet that didn't understand about witches. They thought witches were dark or scary or strange. But as the years went by and he got older and older, Devon started to not really mind what people thought. Devon loved who he was. It didn't matter about anybody else's opinions. Even though he was, you could say, quite unusual. But being unusual doesn't mean that you're weird or strange or dark or different. And that doesn't have to be bad, any of it. Being unusual just means you're your particular flavor. And people either like you or they don't. We don't all have to be the same for us to like each other, do we? We can all like each other just because of who they are, because of who we are. And Devon knew that. So he was very comfortable with being a witch. Devon actually loved being a witch. It made him feel very special. And he appreciated all of the gifts that he had. How he could work with crystals, how he could understand the messages from the moon, how he could make certain things grow in the soil by talking to the plants, planting them at certain times of year, times when the sun would give them the most energy and food. He knew all of those things. He was a very clever witch. If any of that sounds like you, embrace your witchery. And 
If any of it sounds absolutely nothing like you, embrace that too. Embrace exactly who you are. Every single mood, every part of you, every bit of you. See if you can just love all of you like Devon loved all of him. A really good way to practice self-love is to tell yourself you love yourself as much as possible. And it's really, really easy. All you have to do is close your eyes. Take a nice, big, deep breath. And when you breathe out, say, I love you. That's it. That's all you have to do. Breathe in a nice, big, deep breath and breathe out and say, I love you. I love you. And you do it as much as you want. You can do it for one minute. You can do it for five breaths. You can do it for 30,000 billion minutes if you want to. But try and do it every single day. Just tell yourself, even if it's one deep breath a day, that's all. One deep breath where you go, I love you. It works like magic, like witchery magic. And you'll love yourself just as much as Devon. I promise. I love you. 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 I love you.
I love you.